right, guys, I'm doing a review on the Traxxas Aton that I just bought a couple days ago. Just kind of haven't been able to fly, been working a lot. Um, so far, it looks good. Uh, it is. Unboxing. All right. Comes with the Traxxas stickers. Their card, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, the warranty registration. Um, comes with the quick start guide. Um, part list and kind of how to put it together if you have to replace any parts. And the infamous owner's manual, which is kind of cool, I guess you'd say. Comes with an extra set of blades. I'm not going to take those out. I'm just going to leave them in there for now. Alright, here it is. Well, feels pretty heavy. Good size, you know. Got it to carry my GoPro. Set that aside. Please excuse the mess on the desk. Comes with the radio. Kind of video gamey, cheap, but not bad. Got the home button, take off button, on off switch, all that. Got the three cell, 3000 milliamp lipo. I didn't get the plus version, just wanted the simple one. It's all I needed. I haven't charged it up or anything yet. And there's the power cord for the charger. There's the LiPo ID charger. It's pretty simple. Charging's supposed to be, at least what I was reading up on, about 45 minutes, which isn't horrible. But I'll probably end up with a better charger and some more batteries that are a little bit higher milliamp. Whatever I can fit inside of it. So. That's the mount. For the GoPro, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they have that. That's the main reason I bought it because, you know, obviously I want to carry the GoPro. Screwdriver, their little tool or whatever the hell you want to call it. Batteries for the radio. Some, I, don't, I think they're decent. They're the Duracell. Durlock or whatever you want to call it. Durlock. Comes with four of them. Uses four triple A's. And then we got the long legs for the whenever you have the camera mount. The camera mounted on it. So it clears the ground. And simply it's not a bad, you know, it's not a bad quadcopter for, you know, the price. It was, I got it for $299.99. Alright, with this Aton, the battery compartment is right here. Right in the bottom. Um... This thing, I'm not too sure about because I don't know if you can see it, but the way it hooks on, it's not like a, um, I guess like a hinge. It's more of like just the plastic's kind of loose right there. And I feel like after opening it and closing it a couple times, or I guess you could say multiple times, it would probably start wearing and then wearing down. And if it pops off, all there is to hold it is this clip right here on the top. So then it would just kind of be doing this, this number right here on the bottom of it, which would, battery might fall out, you know. That's the only issue I can see with it as of right now. Um, I wrote down a couple points that, as of right now, I can see there's a couple cons. Most of the pros, um, just the stuff that I've seen on other videos and you know, just other stuff like that. One of the cons that I noticed is blades, they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of flimsy to me. 
I feel like they're not, you know, they could have done a little bit better with those, but as long as you don't wreck it, I don't think you'll have a problem. Um, another issue was, I bought this thing from Tower Hobbies. Uh, they had, I had some discounts I could use, and unfortunately, Tower and I think Traxxas wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't want to use... They wouldn't let you use the discounts, unfortunately. Um, flight time, from what I'm hearing, 15, 20 minutes on film mode. Less and less on sport and extreme mode. Um, it does have three modes, which is cool. Um, pretty much, basically, I'd say it's the best for what <clears throat> anything you want to do. If you want to go do tricks and stuff, you could use it for that. Or if you're like me and just want to be able to take aerial footage, it has the film mode for that. Um, some of the pros, comes with an extra set of blades, which is cool, just in case you mess up the flimsy ones. The other ones I'm pretty sure I would assume are flimsy as well. Um, battery and charger, they're not bad. I mean, 3 cell lipo, 3000 milliamps is a little low. If I got the 5,000 milliamp battery, it would bring the <clears throat> flight time probably up a little bit more. And like I said about the battery or the charger, um, charger's not bad. You know, 45 minutes isn't horrible to charge a battery. Um, also, what I've seen on other reviews and things that I've seen online, the lights right here. The lights are in here. They're apparently super bright. So if you want to fly it at night, you have that option. And it's nice that you can, the, the lights are bright enough where you can see it when you're flying. Um, like I said before, the modes, it's got all different modes. All depending on how you want to fly it, what you want to do with it, stuff like that. Um, another thing, this mount, it'll hook straight up to the GoPro. Just basically plug and play, hook up and play, whatever you want to call it which is nice. Um, the tool, I'm kind of indifferent, but I think it's a good thing. One tool for every single screw. So basically you take this thing fully apart and put it, reassemble it with the same single screwdriver. Not sure exactly what size Allen that is, but that is really cool. Um, I haven't flown it yet, like I said. I plan on flying it this weekend. Um, this video will probably be uploaded. I'd say eh, maybe next week sometime, or maybe this weekend. I'm not sure. Just depends when I have some time off work and feel like actually editing and all that shit. Um, I'll have another video up for how it flies and how it takes videos and films. Um, I'm stoked. I'm excited and I'll let you guys know how it goes.